welcome to our channel today we are going to see a problem in duo binary coder and for this duo binary coder we are going to use a pre coder so we are, the given data is 00101110 this data is given as the binary sequence bk so you can see that the data our data is given as 00101110 According to the block diagram, this data sequence is sent to a precoder. The output of your precoder is dk. So, according to the block diagram, dk is nothing but it is equal to our input binary sequence bk, which is modulo 2 added along with dk minus 1. So, we already have the binary sequence bk, but what we need is dk minus 1. So for that, what we are going to do is first we are going to frame our dk. So dk, what we are going to do is we are just going to assume the value of dk, the first value to be one, right? So after assuming, we are going to find out the dk minus one value by simply delaying this element, that is shifting it to its right by one sample. So now I have got my dk minus one. as well as bk so i have both bk as well as dk minus 1 so in order to get my dk i need to modulo 2 add this bk with dk minus 1 so modulo 2 addition is nothing but the xor of these two datas so which means that whenever the two inputs are 0 and 0 the output is going to be 1 and when the two inputs are 1 and 1 Again, sorry, it's going to be zero, and the two inputs are one and one. Again, the output is going to be zero, and when the inputs are one and zero or zero and one, the output is going to be one and one. So here we can find that in this particular data we have zero and one. So since it is zero and one, the output is going to be one. So now I have got my next dk value. Again, I am going to shift this by one sample, and then. Again, I am going to go for my modulo two addition between these two samples. That is, B K and D K minus one. So, modulo two addition of zero and one gives me one again. Again, I am shifting it by one sample. Modulo two addition of one and one gives me zero. Again, I am shifting it by one sample. Modulo two addition of zero and zero gives me zero again. Shifting it by one sample. Modulo two addition of one and zero gives me one. Shifting it by one sample, modulo two addition of one and one gives me zero. Shifting it by one sample, and modulo two addition of zero and zero gives me zero. Thereby, I've I've got my entire sequence of dk. So I've got my dk now. Now we can see from the block diagram that dk is passed through a pulse amplitude modulator, which in turn gives me the polar format, polar NRZ format of the data sequence. so whenever it is a 1 i am going to get a plus 1 and whenever it is a 0 i am going to receive a minus 1 so in from the data sequence we can find that this 1 becomes plus 1 1 becomes plus 1 1 plus 1 whenever it is 0 it is minus 1 0 minus 1 1 plus 1 0 minus 1 0 minus 1 so i have received my ak here so now i need to find out my ck we already know that ck is nothing but it is equal to ak plus ak minus 1 so now i have my ak i need my ak minus 1 ak minus 1 is nothing but the delayed version of ak so which means i am going to shift this by one sample so shift ak samples to by one sample so this plus 1 comes here plus 1 plus 1 this minus 1 minus 1 plus 1 And minus one. Now I have both AK as well as AK minus one. Now it is easy for me to find, get my CK. So just add this AK and AK AK minus one value, right? These two values to get your CK. So these two values to get CK. So minus one and plus one becomes zero. Minus one and minus one becomes minus two. Plus one and minus one becomes zero. Plus one and minus one becomes zero again. Minus one and minus one becomes minus two. So finally, I the only thing that is left is to detect the binary sequence that I have sent. Okay. Right? So in order to detect that, the the uh, procedure, the decision rule is very simple. 
if the modulus of ck that is if the modulus of the ck is going to be less than 1 then the detected value is 0 and if if the modulus of ck is greater than 1 then the detected value is greater than 1 it is 0 and if it is less than 1 it is 1 so here if you take the modulus of this here it is greater than 1 right so since it is greater than 1 it is 0 again greater than 1 0 here if you take the modulus it is it is less than 1 so